Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will show you how to build a sales funnel in Zoho CRM and automate the workflow by building blueprints inside of Zoho CRM. To begin with, if you go to the leads module, select a specific lead. And in the lead status field, you can see a list of statuses that the lead can have during the communication process. These statuses can be configured in the module settings by adding options to this field. To do this, let's go to the Zoho CRM settings, to the module settings and open the leads module settings. Find the field we need in the list and select the option settings. Here we can see the options of the field. They can be deleted or edited. You can also choose the default option. In this way, when creating a new record in the module, this option will be automatically assigned to the record. After that, we can save all of the settings. In order to record work by sales stages, you need to set up a sales funnel along which the manager will move with the lead. In the CRM, it is called a blueprint. And yes, we already have the options added for the lead status, so we can move to creating the blueprint. To do this, go to the general settings of the CRM, process management, and to blueprint. Click to create a new blueprint. You can add a name, choose the module and layout. We also choose the field for which this blueprint will apply. Here in the center of the screen, we have a field for creating a scheme of dependencies and conditions between the statuses. On the right, you can see a part with settings and a list of stages. So let's start adding the stages. We start with the new stage and then add the following stages. To do this, you need to click on the stage and drag it to the center of the screen. We have added a standard stage that we don't need. Therefore, we can delete it. Now we can add several other stages. In order to show the transition between the stages, you need to add an arrow and a transaction that will be shown to the manager who works with the lead record in the leads module as a button. And yes, we add an arrow and other conditions. Now we add transaction that is the conditions for moving to the stage. Each button can have its own visibility settings for users or roles. In the Before tab, you can add certain criteria for the transition. It can be a certain condition for the field or several conditions. It is also possible for these conditions to be fulfilled simultaneously or for one of them to be fulfilled. Then you can add certain conditions in the During tab, which means actions while in this stage. I will make it mandatory to fill out notes so that I can always see the latest results regarding communication with the client. We can also add another condition, such as a message for the manager who moves the lead to this state. We can also add other conditions, such as mandatory field filling or custom widgets, but in my case, it's not necessary. You can also add certain conditions on After tab. Here you can add email notifications, tasks or automating filling of the field at this stage. You can also add tags or add a custom functions. I will add a task for the manager. You can choose the type of task, the deadline, choose the status, priority, assign the task and manager, or leave this field empty. Then the system will automatically assign this task to the user who created the record in the modules. Also, set notifications. You can add a reminder, choose a time. Such notifications can be in the form of an email, a pop-up notification, or both. In the same way, we repeat with other stages, building connections and adding the conditions we need.
When the blueprint is ready for all of the stages, the blueprint needs to be published to apply to new leads. In order to already created leads to be included in the blueprint process, you need to update the value in the lead status field to any stage of the blueprint. Now we can check how the blueprint works when creating a new lead in the CRM. To do this, go to the leads module, we create a new lead. Fill in the main fields and save it. Now the transactions that will be specified in the blueprint have the appearance of buttons. Also, the lead was automatically assigned the new stage. As shown earlier, that can be configured in the module settings in the lead status field when adding options and selecting the default option. When clicking on the next stage, you need to fulfill the conditions specified in the blueprint. For example, fill in required fields. Also, at this stage, as stated in the blueprint, the manager will receive a notification in two days that he needs to send an email to the client. Each time you click on another stage, the system will not pass lead unless all the specified conditions are met. You can also choose a stage after which the lead will be automatically converted into the contact and a deal will be created. For automatic conversion, we can choose the interesting stage. To do this, you need to go to the general CRM settings. In the automation selection, select the workflow rules. Add the new rule, select the module and write down the name. Now we can add the conditions under which these rules will apply. Now we add the function that will be performed. In our case, it's conversion. Here you can view and adjust the conditions that will be applied during automatic conversion. Now let's save and we can check on the test lead that we created. Press the interesting button to go to the stage, fill in the notes field and we can see that the lead was converted. We receive a contact and a company. We can also check whether the agreement was created automatically. To do this, go to the contact and click the entries on the deals. The agreement was also created automatically. We can also see that the blueprint with statuses for the deals modules is configured here. In conclusion, the sales funnel starts with the lead and its stages, which can be combined into a process using a blueprint in the CRM. As a result, the sales funnel should end with winning deal. So you can convert a lead into a contact manually and create a deal. And it also can be done automatically using workflow rules. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this tutorial was helpful for you. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We post useful content for all of the Zoho lovers every week.